Money sign Eric here. I am so sorry for the delays. My dad died, so that's why this video has taken a while to come out. I am also in Korea right now, but more on that at the end of this video. For now, this is what I eat in Toronto. Let's go. Bumble clot. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit that out. Of course, the very first restaurant that Viv and I wanted to go to since we got here is closed. It should be open. At least Google said it would be open. Oh, it's good? Seven Live Taco is good? Yeah, this guy just said it was good too. Where did Viv go? Wait, what? Oh, she's over there. Okay. I asked on my Instagram story where to eat at and almost everyone said Seven Live Taco. So when it opens back up, I guess Viv and I will check it out. Viv and I decided to look through the Instagram story recommendations again. And this guy convinced us to go to Hong Kong Bistro Cafe. So this is the pork chop with garlic, daily special. This is the beef brisket baked spaghetti, although it looks like it's mostly beef brisket. First bag, here we go. Toronto food. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yummy. The brisket's really tender. You like it? Yeah. That's it's really nice. Damn. Mm, you should eat the cabbage. It's yummy. Mm. It's just spaghetti, but the brisket and the sauce is really nice. This is a nice hearty meal. Yeah. On a rainy day like this, where we're both really tired and just kind of want to relax, it's nice. Also, I really like the um, the subtle spice in this. Yeah. Cabbage. Mm -hmm. Never thought I'd say this, but I wish my thing had more cabbage. It is raining a little bit more than it was earlier. Viv does not have a hood. We're not trying to get soaked right now while walking back to the Airbnb because that would suck. We want to find a convenience store to go to to get some water. But then I read apparently that Toronto tap water is some of the best in the world. So I think we're just going to go to buy some random stuff. Um, Bumbo clout. Like I said, we're trying to find stuff that we might need for this trip. Pretty sunny in Toronto. Making YouTube videos is stupid because I have to be in bed to show you guys that I'm about to go to sleep. So just pretend like Viv and I are asleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> Viv and I crawled out of bed and we decided to come here. On Dao, and Dao. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Let's go eat, I'm starving. Are we good? Canadian money sign Eric. Canadian money is pretty cool. It feels nice too. Also, I'm not really sure who this is on the bill, but I could definitely beat him in a fight. Viv and I want something soupy today, so that's what we're gonna get. Their menu preview looks like some uh, poster for an EDM festival. Oh wow, I'm liking the pictures. If you guys wanna check the menu out yourselves, you can scan the code. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? You think I'm funny? No. Okay. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. This looks pretty bomb. I'm liking how the broth is shining. So normally Viv and I would get appetizers, but we decided not to today because we're trying to take it light while we're here. Self-control, guys. Self-control. It's good? Judging by that reaction though, it's not amazing. Here's the meat. Mmm, yummy. I like it. I think it's good, but I think it easily could have been great. I think three years ago, I would have been like this first bomb, but I've been around the block a little bit. I like the meat a lot. I like the portion size as well. It's a very, very fair portion size. Seven out of 10, easy. Yeah, seven, two. 7.2? Yeah. Okay, fine, then I say 7.3. All right, fine, and then I say 7.35. It's not better than a 7.35, so we'll end it there. So we ended up just getting one of the dessert specials because we're on a diet. This is Cheba Mao, which I definitely did not pronounce correctly, I'm sorry. Hopefully it tastes good. Cheers, first bite, here we go. Mmm. 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 
It looks like sweet potato, but I think it's mung bean. It's yummy. I think I gotta stop saying yummy because I sound like a kid. You think so? Delicious. Yeah, maybe I'll say delicious next time. I feel like yummy is just a stronger word. If someone says something is delicious, you're like, oh yeah, it's probably good. But if I said, yo, that's yummy, you're gonna be like, mmm, yummy, I wanna eat that, right? Come on. Let's do two different types of reactions here, ready? First bite, here we go. Mmm. That's delicious. Delicious. Now here's two. Mmm, so yummy. All right, let's be real about it though. Mmm, yummy. No, you get me. It is yummy though. I really like this. Wait, is this a song? I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10. I really like it. But I'm also very biased because I have a slight sweet tooth. Yo, they only play bangers here. Yeah. Okay, so I was gonna turn my camera off, but I just keep playing bangers. Oh, what? Justin Bieber was... He's Canadian, right? Oh, let me call him real quick. Yo, Biebs, what's up? <laughs> Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Decent food, great dessert, nice vibes. I thoroughly enjoyed my time. Me too. I had a good time watching Eric dance. All right, anyway, I paid the bill, and the guy says, have a nice night. Happy Thanksgiving. I had no idea that Canadian Thanksgiving was a thing. You learn something new every day. I'm cheese, fam. Good uh, Good morning, guys. It's a new day and Viv and I just got up. After uh, Viv and I just passed out, I'm sorry we didn't record more because we were just really tired. We had to get to the airport at 4 a.m. and we're, uh, we're getting a little too old to be powering through that, so we needed to go to sleep. Today we went to Seven Live Tacos. Again and it is closed again. Even though Google said that they would be open today, which is some bullshit. We decided to go to a place nearby and it's called Ugly Delicious Burger and they specialize in Wagyu Smash Burgers. So we're gonna be checking it out. This is another place that was recommended to me and the best part is it's halal certified. So no haraming here. Can I get a double jalapeno gone wild? I'll take that as a combo, and then I'll take it with fries and water, please. Just regular fries? Yeah, regular fries. All right, so here's my double patty Wagyu jalapeno smash burger. Oh, I like the way the bun feels. I mean, I also have some fries here. I feel like eating this for lunch might be a mistake. This may have been better as a uh, late night drunk meal. But it is Canadian Thanksgiving today, so not a lot of things are open. Of course, I'm gonna compare this to 7th Street, you know? And it's bigger, which I like. First bite, here we go. Oh, yummy. Oh wait, it's yummy. Is it? Yeah. The price is mistaken, right? It's definitely good. Mm. This definitely feels better to eat than Simon Street's burger. I was so enamored by the burger, I didn't even get to eat the fry. Mm -hmm. These fries are actually bomb. Yeah, I like them. Maybe I'm just hungry though. All right, so that was a pretty good meal. And now Viv and I are trying to figure out what to do. Huh, the jerk spot. You, uh, you busy right now? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think of Ugly Delicious Burger? It was good. I liked it a lot, actually. Is it better than 7th Street? I think they're the same. We don't know if it's actually Wagyu or not, but uh, yeah, it was good. And it wasn't like super oily, which was really nice. It was the a, fries were bomb. Yes, the fries were very good. I think it's a solid eight. It was a very enjoyable eating experience. Although I definitely would have enjoyed it more if I was a little tipsy. Also, you guys know how I said I had a sore throat. Well, actually, it turns out that I don't have a sore throat. I have a canker sore in the back of my throat, which is insane, because I've never gotten that in my life before. Wait, hold on, let me see. Ah, ah, ha, ah. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's there. And it is causing me immense pain. We're gonna go get some medicine for that sore. Toronto is cold, so I am glad that I brought 
my little puffer jacket. After I get some medicine, we're gonna go to Ripley's. Yeah. Oh my God, I see it. Mm. Mm? Yeah, this hurts like hell. So I got some Kanka that we're going to put on this before we go to the aquarium. We gotta be surgical here. <coughs> if you enjoyed watching that surgery, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know. Viv and I are on our way to Ripley's Aquarium right now. And it's a 30 minute walk from where we're staying. Yeah, we're gonna walk there because we're trying to lose weight after eating a smash burger. Let's cue the walking montage. I've stopped listening to things you say cause you don't mean it anyway. I guess all the tourist attractions here are all in the same spot. You like fish? I love fish. Yeah, I like fish too. Ripley's was cool. We got uh, a magnet and a little keychain with a little axolotl over there. Or axolotl, sorry, don't know how to pronounce it. But I would definitely recommend checking out Ripley's Aquarium. It seems like a cool place that you could take uh, a first date out on. <laughs> Viv and I like fish. We got to see a turtle. We got to see sharks, stingrays. It was a cool aquarium. And now Viv and I are gonna walk home, maybe uh, check out some dumplings in Chinatown. The CN Tower, is right next to the aquarium, but personally, Viv and I have no interest, especially me. When I was younger, I helped out one of my friends take a, a picture for his album cover there. Nothing crazy for me. It's really loud because of this vent right here, but Viv and I just came to Juicy Dumpling from Ripley's, and we're about to check it out. A lot of people told us to go, a lot of people. Insanely cheap prices. Dude, $4, four, four Canadian dollars for six pieces is insane. Hopefully it tastes good. 12 pork soup dumplings here, as well as six pan fried pork dumplings. And uh, yeah, they're all pork. It's good? Oh, it's really good, huh? Everyone told me to go to this place. So many, so many people told me to come to Juicy Dumplings. And so finally, here we are. First bite, here we go. Mmm. 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 I really like it too. I think we should come back here before you leave. Yeah. It's definitely not the best soup dumpling in the world, but for its price, like, you gotta eat this. This is a valid recommendation. I with it. I'm not even drinking the soup, I'm just letting it explode in my mouth. Mm. Now here's the pan fried pork soup dumpling. Mm. The fries delicious. Nine out of ten, easy. For its price, nine out of ten, easy. I can tell you really like it. It's probably one of my favorite things I've eaten here so far. Yeah, this is really good actually. I would definitely come back here. For its price, yeah, you gotta factor that in. It's so good. What do you like about it? Uh, that it's cheap as f <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. Surprisingly, the filling is like filled. It's like fat. It's not like small and then, I don't know, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy, nine out of 10. Agreed, it was so good, so cheap. Super cheap, it was filling. It actually tasted good. The portion size was fair for what you pay for. It was quick, fast, and I feel satisfied after eating it. If Viv and I get hungry later, 
or just any time during this trip, we're probably gonna go there, uh, go there again because it's really close to where our Airbnb is. Juicy dumpling, fire. I actually really liked it. My only complaint is that we didn't get more. But that's okay because we're on a diet. Viv and I have been outside wandering about for about four hours now, so we're gonna go home. Toronto so far, pretty fun. Finally, they're open. Oh, shit. I didn't realize there was a stuff here, goddamn. Yeah, baby. It looks pretty good. It smells good too. I can't even lie. So this is the Baja fish, which was recommended to me. And then this is the tuna shrimp and cheese. So Viv's got a fish for herself, then I'm eating these two. How is it? What is this? Why is it hanging out like that? First bite we go. Mm. This is a messy taco though. I already know what you're gonna say. I know your exact thoughts. I fucking love Mexican food, oh my god. Let me eat the other one and then I'll get my thoughts outside because there's a lot of music going on right now. This one's uh, smoked tuna with shrimp and cheese. Let's get it. Yeah, baby. We just had seven lives, and another recommendation that we got was Gus Tacos. So we gotta check it out to compare. Ooh, much more uh, meat focused, I see. So I'll get the Al Pastor, and then I'll also get, ooh, I'm gonna get a quesadilla, a barbacoa quesadilla. Ooh, that was, yeah, I'm, I'm getting into it. That came out very fast. This is my Al Pastor taco. And then this is my barbacoa quesadilla. God damn. Some limes and then a hot salsa. Or hot sauce, I guess. And they've got a carne asada. Meat's very tender. Nice. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh man, I just really love Mexican food. Al pastor, first bite, here we go. Mmm. Delicioso. Rice in here too? Mm -hmm. Dirty rice. Dirty rice, shrimp alfredo, smothered turkey leg. Mm. No, it's really good. It's good, right? Mm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go order another one. Hi, right, could I get um, another Al Pastor taco, please? Here's the quesadilla. Very fat. I love it. First bite, here we go. Mmm. I wish I didn't have a canker sore right now. Wanna try it? I'm liking the cheese and the meat. That could have been bad. I like this place better. You like it better too? Wow, and it's cheaper. We got another Al Pastor just cause it's too bomb. The Al Pastor in Mexico is better though. First bite, here we go. Oh, do you want the first bite? Eat over the plate. Mm. Did a lot of people recommend? No. Oh, really? Very few people recommended this place compared to Seven Lives. Mmm. Pinche puta madre. Oh, God. Let's go home. Let's talk about it. So, what'd you think about the tacos? They were really good, actually. I actually really liked uh, Gus's more. Why? Mm, I think it had like a lot more flavor. And then I also really liked the tortilla more at Gus's compared to Seven Lives. How was your, uh, your taco though, the Baja fish at Seven Lives? It's 
Seven Limes Baja fish taco was pretty good. I thought the fish was really big and crispy, but I felt oh, yeah, it was really big. It was huge. Oh, you thought that was really huge? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tacos were really nice. I think Seven Lives was definitely good, but not a must try like everyone was telling me it was. I enjoyed Gus Tacos a lot more. Although it's not a completely fair comparison because I got fish at uh, I got fish at Seven Lives and then Al Pastor at Gus, but everyone told me to get the fish at Seven Lives, so would I go back to both? Yes, I would, but I would prefer going to Gus's over Seven Lives. Gus, yeah, Gus was nice. <laughs> Gus was nice, and Gus was like two. 250 Canadian cheaper uh, per taco. Now Viv and I are currently on our way to uh, Bloor Street. Yeah, I know there's a lot of Korean restaurants on that street, so we're just going there to eat at Korean Village. One of the few Korean restaurant recommendations that we got. Everyone told me to go to Taldongne, which is a Korean barbecue spot, but we don't want Korean barbecue. We're not looking for that right now. It's about a 33 minute walk, which is fantastic because I've been feeling very lethargic lately. Mostly because since getting here on Sunday, it is now Tuesday, I have not pooped yet. I'm always a little poop shy when I come to new places. I'm expecting a banger poo to come out in about a few hours or at least by tomorrow morning. Anyway, I'll see you guys at Korea Village. We got champong to share between the two of us. The panchan is lacking. I, I don't know where the panchan is. I'm not sure if just getting a salad here is normal, but it's a little disappointing. But hopefully the champong is good. Also, we're in the gulag right now. There's like, if you go this way, there's more open space. Lots of open space. I hope I didn't make anyone uncomfortable pointing the camera at them, but this was the only table available. Yeah, I will say though, the broth of the jampong looks very good. Mmm, I'm liking how the noodles look. If we're still hungry after this, I think we're gonna go to Juicy Dumpling. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. That's good jampong. The soup's real. Yeah, that's valid. Never mind. The yeah, the panchan was a mistake. Apparently, it's more than the salad. We just didn't get the uh, the other stuff. Thank you. Definitely better than just getting a salad. Kimchi, kolamul, and then oden. The jampong. I like the noodles. I like the soup. I like the spice. I just wish there was more seafood and like vegetables. I feel like a, a big problem with jampong that you get at a lot of restaurants is that the the soup is watered down, but that's not the case here. It tastes nice. We also got some tangsuyu here, which is, uh, in this case, battered pork with a sweet and sour sauce on top. Usually we like to get it on the side, but they put it on top for us. Tangsuyu and jampong, classic combo. Could also do jajangmyeon, uh, but you prefer the jampong. First bite, here we go. Wow, I like the tangsuyu. Mm -hmm. I actually really like it. My mom would love this. I'm a fan. If you recommended Korean Village, I think like two or three of you, Props to you, it's good shit. Obviously this is not representative, this meal is not representative of what this restaurant offers. I'm sure the other menu items are equally as good if not better. If we were in Toronto any longer, we'd probably come back here and try out some more stuff. It's a shame that we're on a diet, to be honest. We're gonna finish our meal now. I'll talk to you guys more uh, outside. Thank you. Thank you, Kamsamida. Well, how come you guys are getting, like, the next generation, they're taller than all of us? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of did you drink? <laughs> a lot. Don't buy any time, okay? Yeah, sounds good. Kamsamida. Korea Village Restaurant. I'm a big fan. If you're visiting Toronto and you want some good Korean food, I don't think you can go wrong with going somewhere on Bloor Street. If Viv and I were here longer, we would probably come back to this area to explore some new food options, but we want to diversify, you know? I'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10. I enjoyed my time there, and it was definitely better than I expected it to be. What would you rate it, Viv? 8 out of 10. Oh, you, so you're copying me. I said it first off well, camera. Well, not, not on camera. That was one of my more enjoyable meals in Toronto, but I think I just really miss Korean food. Viv and I are gonna walk back now uh, towards the Airbnb because there is a Bingsu cafe that we wanna check out. So I'll see you guys there. It's also raining, so I'm gonna put my camera away.
Mm. Sorry. Oh man. Mm. Mm. The dog is good. Really? Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's actually very yummy. Very light too. I like how um, not overly sweet it is. Yeah. It is kind of expensive for what they give you though. Yeah. Yeah, because this is basically all ice. But it tastes good. Good morning, lovely people of Canada and YouTube. Viv and I are here to eat some bomb ass Thai food. Now let me preface this meal by mentioning that almost every single person that recommended a restaurant in Toronto recommended the Thai restaurant Pai. Or maybe it's Pei. I'm guessing Pai. Apparently it's a Michelin star restaurant that is super popular here in Toronto. However, Viv and I made the executive decision not to go there after many people told us that it was one, overrated, and two, ko lipe or ko lipe is better. What I will find out today is if ko lipe is worth your time. It's probably ko lipe, not bad to think about it. They are currently closed off right now. It is 5 p.m. and they open at five. While we wait for the restaurant to open, I'll talk about my day real quick, very lazy day. Viv and I woke up and we basically stayed home, did not eat anything because we were trying to diet. <laughs> we had the realization last night, looking in the mirror, that we have been gaining some weight in Toronto. And when we get back, it's Viv's birthday, trying to stay skinny for that, you know? And what is this? I got a box of chocolates. Should I really be? Oh, very pretty. Mm -hmm. Is that a quail egg? How much was this box of chocolates? None of your business. Did you use my credit card? I, I think I'm going to try the Kyoho grape. I don't think we should eat this before uh, dinner not, though. Right, it's our dessert. Okay. Right, while we're waiting, we're here at Carbonic. This is where Viv got her chocolates. And she also got this. Hey, babe, it's closed on Wednesdays. What? What do you mean? How could it be closed on Wednesdays? You got a reservation for Wednesday. No. Wait, what? Okay, so you made a reservation on open table. No, it's okay. Um, it's not like I've been looking forward to Pad Thai for the last, you know, 20 days, but as I was saying, the Hoji Chai Latte here, very nice. Mm. But I also think I like the cream on top too. Yeah, and I can tell you've been freaking drinking it all. Excuse you. Why would they let you make the reservation when the restaurant is closed? That just put a serious dent in Viv and I's plans. <laughs> okay, so now what do we do? Maybe we go to Pai? All good. We're just going to adjust and go to Pai instead. Stick with the, uh, the Thai food for tonight. All right, and here we are, Pai. Oh wait, I was gonna open that for you. My handsome queen. Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna lie, this gave me a little jump scare at first, holy fuck. Looks like a fun restaurant. Hopefully we get to get uh, seated soon. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm currently in the bathroom at Pai. Jesus, uh, bathrooms, bathroom's nice, I guess. If you listen really closely, you can hear the people through the vents. So that's cool, I guess. But uh, wait's gonna be 15 minutes for Viv and I to do a walk-in. So that is very fortunate for us. And hopefully it's some good food. But I'm going to go do my business now. I'll see you guys later. We're at the bar right now, which, you know, is no problem at all. Here's what we're thinking about getting. The cow soy, which I don't think I'm pronouncing correctly. That was recommended to me. Viv and I will, will think about it and we'll get back to you guys on what we ordered. All right, and here's the very first thing we got, the tom yum soup. You had a very pleasant reaction to that. Nice. Wow. That is actually delicious. I've never had such flavorful tom yum before. It's actually delicious. Do you agree? And here is the Mu Ping Skewer. I think it's three for 17. And if it's anything like the soup, it'll be very delicious. And all the food came out. We're gonna unwrap the rice real quick. Oh, it smells yummy. Here's the rice that came with our curry here. This is the cow soy with noodles and beef. And for our curry, we also, they're both curries actually. But for this curry, we got shrimp. We're gonna start off with the skewer first. First bite, here we go. Mm. 
Nice flavor. Not worth 17 though. I could go to Flushing, get two dollar skewers that taste better than that. Hey, this looks really good though. I'm liking how milky and coconutty this is. Very spicy. We go. The beef's all right. Let me try the other curry that we got. Cheers. Very spicy. We go. I like that one better. It's got more flavor. Yeah. I, th I think the soup was the best part of the meal, yeah. Bibi and I are gonna finish this up and we'll give our rating after. The beef in this was also a letdown. Like, um, the skewer was so much more tender. I like the shrimp a lot, yeah. All right, and that is a pretty decent meal. Viv and I are on a diet, so we're gonna cut out some of the carbs. <laughs> and we'll see you guys outside after we pay. All right, if we're being generous, seven. It definitely tasted good. Would I say overrated? Well, given how many people told me to come to Pi, I would definitely have to say overrated. It wasn't bad by any means, but the way that it was hyped up by all my followers telling me that I had to go, uh, my expectations were definitely higher and they definitely did not deliver. The curry was just not as flavorful as I would have hoped it to be. Viv and I are just walking back home right now. We don't want to get dessert like we want dessert, but we're going to show some self-control. Self-control. And we're not going to go get dessert. So we're just going to head back home now. Fuck. I lied. We're here at Juicy Dumpling. All right, you guys know we were a bit hungry after pie, so we had to come back to Juicy Dumpling. Ooh. This time we got two uh, pan-fried soup dumplings because we like it over the regular soup. Viv and I have been wanting to come back to Juicy Dumpling since we first came here, and we're back. Oh shit, first bite, here we go. Oh man, that's good. That's really good. When you said you were gonna have one, I thought you meant a combo. Or like, I thought you meant six pieces. You were literally just gonna have one dumpling. Okay, I, I, yeah, good for me. Turn up. Mm. That guy that just walked by recognized me. I didn't know I had Canadian fans. Should I get more? Nah. I'll call it a night after that, since I really am on a diet, guys. Juicy dumpling. Still a 10 out of 10 for me. Now Viv and I are really going home. No dessert, no extra snacks, no extra me <coughs> no, no extra meals. We will see you guys at the Airbnb. Actually, uh, I don't know, you probably won't see us. We'll probably just watch JoJo. Uh, we're on part four now, by the way, or Viv is at least. We'll watch that until the end of the night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is our last full day in Toronto. So we'll make the most out of it. We love Toronto. You actually do, right? Yeah, no, I like it too. Toronto's lit. Oh, this is the coconut one. Oh. Wow. That looks good. I like that. I wish it was thicker and like more filled like an empanada, but I like that. This shit is so good that we got another one. This time we got chicken. Well, we only got one more because we're on a diet and we're going to share it. Also, I'm sorry if it's noisy. There's a fountain right here. Alright, got the... Alright, we are here at Pizzeria Badiali. Viv and I actually already got our slices here. They've got two pepperonis. I got a vodka slice per recommendation from the viewers and then also a pepperoni slice. I think I'll try out the vodka slice first and then the pepperoni. That looks like a nice pizza. First bite, here we go.
the bread tastes really good, but it's too much. I haven't had the pepperoni yet though. What do you think of the pepperoni slices? Mm, not bad. Here's the pepperoni, first bite, here we go. Mm. It's good. I'd probably enjoy it less without the sauce. You gotta go to Juicy Dumplings. That shit squirted. That was good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really sorry if the video ended kind of uh, abruptly. I didn't really record the last day because I was kind of going through it. And uh, I'm really sorry that it took so long for me to even edit and put this video out. Um, you know, life hasn't been amazing for the past month. I didn't think I'd be so affected by my dad's death, but surprisingly I was. So uh, yeah, but I got rent to pay. I'm also in Korea, I need spending money. I need to pay for the Airbnb and all that. So we're gonna be putting out a bunch of videos or at least as many videos as possible uh, during our time here. If you guys wanna see certain videos in Korea, let me know and I will do my best to put that out for you guys. Yeah, we're in Korea though, as you can see. Koreans everywhere. No, it's not Fort Lee or Powell Park. I'm excited to be in Korea. As you guys know, last year I, uh, I put in the work for the Korea videos. So I'll be doing my best to do that this year. It's freezing. <laughs> it's f***ing cold. Happy Thanksgiving. It's good to be back. Very thankful for all of you. Thank you for sticking by me. And uh, together we'll, uh, we'll get through this, I guess. Yep. I'll see you guys next week. Probably in less than seven days because I need money. <laughs>